It is uh, Thursday. I'm taking Friday off. We're going to hammer on this kit this weekend. Uh, the first set of electronics that I ordered for this just showed up. These are my servos. So <clears throat> I'm doing the HS7950. This is pretty much what I put in everything. So that's kind of my go-to uh, crawler servo. So HS45HB. So just a standard um, ball bearing servo that will be able to handle the loads of controlling that transmission. And then the last thing, uh, standard castle beats. All right, um, final box I was waiting on. I think all I need besides this are some servo horns. Uh, but uh, my final box arrived here from RPP. And this should be my brushless setup. All right, there we go. The Castle Copperhead 10 with 20, I forgot what motor was in this, 2850 kV slate motor. So, finally, pop this thing open. This is uh, just a stroke of genius in my opinion. Uh, plastic axle, brass tube, I mean a popular mod that everybody was doing AX10s back in the day. Built-in weight and rigidity. Just finishing up the rear axle. There we go. Axle number two. Moving right along. All right. <clears throat> There's the chassis. All done. Went together no problems. Other than I mounted the wrong servo here, but we'll fix that. All right, so on the gearbox and bag D, or as I like to call it, D bag. Right, we are on the building transmission. Got the uh, uh, getting the slipper put together. Getting ready to pop this on here. Be cracking into this uh, brushless setup to mount the motor. The gearbox is mostly complete. Things pretty damn ingenious the way this all works. Essentially, the, these. Uh, arms kind of make the drive kind of go around so you got to dig over here and then you got your um, uh, overdrive so you have basically one set of gear, gear ratios on this one and then this shifts it to a set of gears back here with a different gear ratio so pretty ingenious setup uh, all right looks like it's time to get this motor mounted and we're going to mount the uh, transmission in this chassis Show. Let's crack into this uh, castle brushless system. Um, all right, it's time to bolt this into the truck. So transmission in the truck, we're off and running to build some shocks. So here I am all geared up to build some shocks. I'm looking at these instructions and I'm like, shocks, and then I pull them out of the bag and they're already loaded. <laughs> so they've already done all the O-ring spacers and uh, C-clip. So um, that will significantly, significantly speed up the shock build. But uh, anyway. That's a pleasant surprise. So, it's gonna make shock building a lot more, a lot easier.
Hey, are you going to help build this thing or not? Here, grab onto that. Grab it. No, you're not. <laughs> Look, you're no help if you're not going to help build. We used to raise rats back in the day, and we found these at the pet store the other day, and they were just the most friendly rats. Uh, people are grossed out by rats because of their tails. She's going in my shirt. As far as rodent pets, rats are like the best. They're way better than hamsters and gerbils and guinea pigs. They're quiet. They're, they're clean. not better than guinea pigs, though. Yes, they are. They're equal. Because cool. guinea pigs are chonky. They're thick. Anyway, that's enough of the rats. Back to the build. Alright, so I don't know, what do we do? We built some shocks. Shocks are all good to go. Um, I may need one new shock cap, I'm not sure. Um, built drive shafts. Got the drive shafts on the transmission. Um, now we're getting ready to build some links and uh, we'll be mounting these axles under this chassis. So, <sighs> my favorite part building links. These axles are going on this truck in short order. Got all the front links mounted. Uh, we're just going to mount the shocks and the uh, steering links, and then this is ready to go on the truck. So. Now that I have the shock towers on the right way, <laughs> I can actually mount these. Uh, <clears throat> this whole build, these were mounted on there backwards. And then lo and behold, the body post holes wouldn't mount up or line up. But uh, there we go. Now they're on there right. Everything lines up. All right. Well, the build continues. We're sort of getting into um, like I just did electronics trays and these inner fenders. Um, we're getting into this cosmetic stuff um, with the radiator. This might be part functional, but. Uh, trying to decide if I'm going to paint this up. This is sort of reminiscent with the fan and shroud setup that is on my Wraith uh, from back in the day. Um, like I said, I painted that silver. It looks pretty good. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, on this truck, you can see in those fan shrouds that the blades are black. It gives a little bit of contrast against the radiator. Um, so there's that, and um, we're getting ready to start putting in electronics. So. Um, battery tray, servo mounts, that kind of fun stuff. So, anyway, uh, while well, I, I wash these up and let them dry just in case I'm going to paint them. Um, and I have to remember to get that sensor wire in there before I get these servos mounted, otherwise that might be kind of a bear. Um, other than that, it's been going really smooth. Alright, well, getting ready to mount servos. I'm going to mount a uh, Vanquish 24 millimeter servo horn on there these right now for a high tech like i'm running super hard to find vanquish doesn't have them tower a main nobody has them found a little store called rc superstore i don't know if it's a little store but a hobby shop called rc superstore they had all four server horns i needed so they saved the day all right well there's the roller built um from here on out it's just cosmetic stuff and body which i'm not even sure i'm going to use <clears throat> so at this point um it's just going to be mounting electronics and then getting it all to work uh together in concert and then we'll decide where we're going with the body and all that fun stuff and then i still have to mount uh dismount and mount uh these incision wheels that i'm going to use on it 
And I think I am going to use the kit tires because I don't have anything else laying around. So, alright gang, so that does it for um, this uh, episode of the build. Um, the truck is pretty much ready to go. Um, next step, we got servos in here, but we're going to be getting the ESC set up and all that stuff plugged in. But anyway, that's the end of volume one. This is just the chassis build, um, and then onto electronics, and then uh, body. So. That's it. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you would, and uh, catch me on volume two. Thanks, guys.